today is Thursday, so it's always time for Imagination Station. Jeff Stevenson is here with some spooky science because we are in the fall. So what do you got going on here? It's very fun display we got in front yes, of us. Yes, I've got a lot of stuff here, yeah. but we are going to be dealing with some pretty high proof acetone. So if you can go ahead and get some gloves and goggles on, gloves that would be great. Goggles. You can see I'm already wearing mine. He's uh, already prepared. Yes, He's on top of it. Extremely, extremely important. Now, okay. the first thing I'm going to have you do once you're all gloved up and nice and safe okay. is I'm going to have you very carefully pour this acetone into this cup for me. It's important that you're very careful. We're going to need that for the next segment. So while you're doing that, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get gloved up. Okay, here. great. So I'm pouring this into here. Yep, just pour very it. But, you know, just put it slowly in there. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Go for it. And don't worry, we're just going to need that in a little bit. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, All right. Ho, ho. All right. So. Goodbye. It seems like you're having a little bit of an issue here with us, right? Yeah. So, um, man. Okay. So I think the issue is is that we didn't give you a little knowledge about how styrofoam yeah, works. Yeah. How it works with acetone. Yes. Ugh, I try to fill a cup and I just melt it. Well, what do you know? Don't worry. I have a foolproof way in order to teach uh, people here. Perfect. So, um, Thanks. I've got Frankenstein's monster right here in front of me. Oh, his monster. Okay. Yes. And we're gonna Very we're gonna good. teach him, and that means we're gonna teach you a little bit about styrofoam. Now, okay, uh, we're excited. gonna have to take off his skull. Standard part of any teaching process is oh, to remove, remove the, top remove of the, the head? skull because we're going to go directly into the brain. Okay, so if absolutely. You, if you can go ahead and grab these pieces, kind of hold them up and set them down into his uh, brain there, just one at a just time. Just one, just okay. one at a time. Perfect. And so if we flip this one, the first thing about styrofoam you want to know is you'll see it's actually not called styrofoam, it's called polystyrene. So go ahead and just kind of place this. It's called polystyrene. Styrofoam is a brand name and push that in there for me, would you? We want to teach Frankenstein's monster here about polystyrene that. Okay, it, we're filling his brain with knowledge. Knowledge, yes, you know. exactly. And you, you can just push that on in there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Just quickly. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's not playing around. No, 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 no. no. We, we, at Imagination Station, we do not play around with feeding knowledge <laughs> into with monsters. With feeding knowledge. Yeah, there you go. Now, a, a big misconception about polystyrene wow. is, if you want to grab the next piece, yeah, just keep is going. that it cannot be recycled. All okay. right? Okay. But That's in reality, you actually can recycle polystyrene. Wow. It's just in Lucas County, there's no good place to do it anymore. Oh. Okay. Which is unfortunate, but it kind of yeah. makes sense when you think about it because polystyrene is actually, go ahead, 98% air. 98% air? Yeah, so if you think about it, if you're trying to dissolve or if you're trying to recycle polystyrene, that means that you have this big bulk, imagine just a bunch of packaging peanuts, right? Yeah. And you're getting 2% material out of that. Out of that, because it's so much yes. air. You can keep yeah. putting those, just, those are all just blank ones that These we're gonna go. These blank ones, okay. Yeah, no, put them all in. Keep, oh, put, keep, keep going. Keep you know, we gotta in. keep feeding keep the feeding knowledge. Yes, Come exactly. On. So, um, it's, it, it, and this is just a really cool, like you, you don't expect that you'll be able to, to just keep feeding it in here. Yeah, keep going, because it is 98% air. air. Yeah, so, so we're, we're not adding as much as you would think so we're, into it. Yeah, exactly. So we're dissolving that styrofoam into the acetone. Gotcha. And so there's only a very small amount of material. So even though we've put, you know, feet and feet and feet of, styro of polystyrene in there, yeah. I'm actually going to pull out what we have, and I'll show you okay. what it looks like. Yeah, go ahead. So it's... It's a very small amount of material. Ooh, very goopy. Yeah, yeah it's extremely. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, let me lift it up again for you. Yeah, it's extremely, extremely goopy here. Wow. So this is really great to talk about polymer science, right? Okay. It's, they, they actually whip this polystyrene in, into air. That's what makes it a really good insulator because okay. air is a good insulator. Air, yeah, absolutely. But as much as it's fun to talk about polymers, I like to use it this time of year if you're introing a science class to safety. Okay. It, as you know, you always need to wear goggles. We're wearing goggles here today. Absolutely. Right? But if you've ever been in a science lab, you know that kids love to wear them very fashionably oh. as headbands. Everyone knows yeah. this, is, this is the cool new science look, uh, you know. And oh, yeah, yeah. It, wear it on their head. Yeah, exactly, uh -huh. exactly. All the popular fashion magazines are talking about this. But I wanted to show you. <laughs> what if, happens if you wear it that way? Yeah, you never okay. know. In a science classroom, you might have some sort of chemical. Sometimes they're unlabeled, unfortunately, which is not the proper procedure. Yeah. But, but it, it happens. It does happen. Okay, so. so if it ends up in the wrong place, yes. what can you show us? Well, I want you to go ahead and just kind of squeeze that. Just on, in this general yeah, area? Yeah, on our monster. Yeah, you can just give it a, a little squeeze here okay and you can see you know if your goggles are on your head and there's some yeah. mysterious chemical that it's it's really it's not gonna okay. be uh, good news for you here so right? you got to be careful well thank you so much for filling us in on the importance <laughs> of safety goggles and being very careful you guys always have great things that you're teaching us but unfortunately we're running out of time oh, so okay. we will have more WTOL your day in just a moment we'll be right back